Aaron Katursky, who's in Lviv, Ukraine. And Aaron, as we just mentioned, we're seeing President Zelensky's announcement that Western countries have agreed to disconnect Russia from the SWIFT banking system. Uh, talk us through how significant that would be for Russia and any potential backdraft for the West. Well, we've just heard the announcement from President Zelensky in another defiant post on social media, Diane. And he says that not only is Ukraine going to keep up its robust defense of its own country in the face of an, a Russian onslaught, he says that, that Western nations have agreed to disconnect Russia from this method of, of international finance. We'll wait to hear for sure from the Western nations. But this would effectively block access to this method of transactions meant to move big amounts of money from uh, one international destination to another for things like oil and gas sales, something you know, really, really big. Now, the, uh, the, the president of the United States has already said that the sanctions that the U.S. and, and its European partners have, have implemented are, are beyond this, that sure, SWIFT is, uh, is important, but cutting the, the, the Russians off from, from Western finance generally and going after the oligarchs individually could have a, a much more significant impact. But this is something the Ukrainians have been clamoring for, and, and they may have finally gotten it. And Aaron, it's nighttime there. So what are you looking out for tonight, and what are you seeing and hearing now? These have been long and restless nights over the last couple of days uh, as the Russians have advanced into the capital uh, from a number of different entry points and, and there's been heavy fighting at least on the outskirts of the city and occasionally closer into the center. There have also been uh, uh, missiles fired at civilian locations according to the Ukrainians and we've seen uh, that horrific video of a missile going into a high-rise residential building. Uh, other civilians have been injured or killed in this fighting so far, even though the Russians say they are not targeting civilians. Things happen, and, and this is war, and that reality has uh, borne down on Kyiv and other key locations uh, across the country. There's been heavy fighting in Kharkiv to the east, Odessa to the south, where the Russian resistance has not been as robust as it has been in the capital. That's really where the Russian defenses have been concentrated. They are trying to hold out as long as possible. And, and if they can do it, they have the promise of, of European and American aid. The United States approved $350 billion worth of aid for the Ukrainian military. That includes Stinger missiles to shoot down Russian aircraft, perhaps even out the advantage. We know that Russian air power is superior. So how quickly are Russian forces moving toward the capital at this point, and how are Ukrainian defense efforts going? Well, the Russians uh, have been advancing, and they're at Kyiv's doorstep, but they've been encountering a, a fairly formidable resistance, and perhaps even uh, a little stronger than they had anticipated, according to the U.S. and, and the British, who both said that the Ukrainian military has really afforded itself well against the, the much bigger, uh, much more robust Russian military. We're not sure whether that's entirely uh, the case, whether this is meant to, to buck up the, the Ukrainian forces who, who are clearly outmatched and outnumbered. But they've been doing it so far, and the capital has held, and Ukrainian President Zelensky says it will continue to hold. There, there's also been a, a civilian mobilization, people given weapons that may not have used them before. Uh, politicians have them, uh, individual citizens have them, and if they don't, they, uh, the, they've been told to just make Molotov cocktails, put up checkpoints in their neighborhoods in defense of any Russian advance. All right, Aaron Katursky in Lviv, Ukraine. We appreciate it, Aaron. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.